All right, now that I've had my Perseus for three or four weeks, I feel like I can accurately give you guys a review of it and compare it to the trusty Hyperion TFS 16 millimeter that I've had in the bag for over a year now. I uh, put this in right before the 2022 US Open. I have this paddle coming in at 8.8 .8 ounces, a single over grip. We have lead here on the throat as well as up top. About midway through last year, I had to put lead on the top to be able to sort of increase the power, both on ground chokes as well as those quick hand battles. Really also helped me with some top spin on some forehand dinks and rolls, and sort of took a little bit of that dead spot out of the, the outer edge of the powder that I sometimes find. Um, with the Perseus, we are just putting lead here around the throat. Uh, we have two over grips on it. Um, if you notice, um, this grip has lost the sort of rigid um, grip that the Hyperion had and I needed two grips to get the 4.5 inches that I like um, circumference in the grip uh, for playing versus the uh, just single over grip for the Hyperion to get the 4.5 inches um, for the over grip. Tons of power, no lead up top like I mentioned and the power is easy. I'll cut to a couple ground strokes where I'm just ripping the ball, which is pretty unheard of for me because I'm fairly slender. Um, you also see the power in the quick hands battles, countering. Um, I feel a lot more confident engaging in those. Um, the expanded sweet spot that I think this paddle has also is great for any dinks out of the air, any resets, feel real confident that I, as long as I get the paddle in the right spot, there's enough power to get it into the kitchen. I'm not those dud shots that I sometimes am accustomed to um, when I have the paddle or hit the paddle out on the outer ridges. Um, things that I need to work on or sort of took a little bit longer to get used to, first would be the return. If I'm just blocking or chipping the return, it can float a little bit with all the power on this paddle. So really gotta work on a nice backhand or forehand slice shot. Or as I've been seeing Ben doing a lot recently, really just ripping a top spin forehand return. I think eventually my return will become a weapon thanks to this paddle. Um, the last thing is when I'm in the transition area, I'm able to take the ball out of the air or have time and can put a little spin on it very comfortable and confident getting it back in the kitchen but those where I'm sort of just reacting or sort of short hopping it um, and I'm just sort of flat pancake paddling the ball up um, unfortunately that's floating a little bit more on me I'm gonna take a little bit more to get used to um, just a little bit softer hands probably um, in doing that but other than that super thrilled about the paddle um, it's in the bag to stay um, for I imagine a really long time um, tons of spin on it as well. I know that's one of the reasons people really love the Hyperion CFS, but um, with this carbon friction surface that's sort of supercharged, um, I've noticed no reduction in spin over a month and um, tons of bite on, on the drops and as well as the rolls. So really happy for, for, for Yola and anyone that gets their hands on this. This is a great paddle. So that's my sort of review. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Happy to answer any, but I don't think you can go wrong with either paddle, but um, I think that from a power standpoint and overall consistency, slight upgrade here. Thanks.